here right now. Okay. Okay, the bar up here. The Caddo workers who built the earthen mounds gathered the set of necessary soils from excavations or borrow pits and carried it in baskets and took it it took many trips to the pit to the village to signify increases the height of any mound. Among with the soil for building mounds, the forests surrounding the village supplied many resources. Trees became the frameworks for temples, homes, and other structures that were covered with thatched brush or prairie grasses. Caddo women wove many different types of baskets and trays from grasses, river cane, and tree bark. Local clay was mixed with tempering materials such as crushed animal bone or clay to create ceramic cooking storage and serving vessels. Basket weaving. Baskets had to be tightly woven to support the heavy loads carried. Basket weaving is a Caddo tradition kept alive by tribal members today. Mm. This burial man was about 20 feet tall and 90 feet in diameter. When the village was abandoned, a series of archaeological excavations began in 1939, determined that it was built in, success, in successive stages for over a period of 700 years, ending in around 1300 AD. It contained around 90 bodies in about 30 burial pits. Burial here was reserved for the community leaders and evidence suggests that the family members or servants may have been sacrificed and uh, entered along with them. People brought food, water, fire, and tobacco to, to the grave for several days after the burial pit to help the deceive, deceased arrive safely at the other house or afterlife. Refined objects found in the burial include stone, copper, ornaments, along with fine locally made ceramic vessels. Like that one. Okay, way station for travelers and traders. Um, the the Caddo vill uh, Village serve as major regional trade center connected with the other settle settlements by series of long distance trade routes. People here exchange goods with other groups nearby from hundreds of miles away. The Caddo imported high quality raw stone material which were shortly local supply to make tools, weapons, as well as fine stone pieces. Many of the imported stone artifacts such as pipes, axe heads, and ear spools may have originated in the north of the Red River in central Texas or the Mississippi Valley. Some of the more exotic materials such as marine shells, copper found at this site can be traced as far back as Florida coast and the Great Lakes region, which is up, yeah. yeah. In exchange for these objects, the Caddo's may have traded foodstuffs, salt, fine pottery, and bows crafted from the local Bodart tree. El Camino Real de los Tejas. The early trade routes established by the Cato leader supported European settlement as well as economic and political growth in Texas for over 300 years. When Europeans first arrived in Cato territory they found well traversed trails uh, connecting native cultural settlements, the Spanish building mentioned along posts and main thoroughfares which collectively became known as El Camino Real de la Tejas or the King's Road to the Tejas. Well, I don't think that leads to anything. No. No. All right. Are you ready? Yep. You gotta tell me go. Go. 
Natural Springs. The natural spring located near the village site feeds into the Natchez River and is like a uh, primary reason for cattle settling here, settled here. It provided a continuous supply of fresh water for the local residents. Village women collected water from the spring in large ceramic and carried it back to their homes for drinking, washing, and preparing food preparation. The Living Tradition The Caddo create a rich variety of durable ceramics in a range of sizes and styles. In fact, the Caddo produced some of the finest pottery in North America. Few other Native American groups that made pottery could equal to the Caddo in terms of variety, quality, and artistic expression in their pottery. All Caddo vessels become as long coils as they clay, as a, a, a coils of clay that they were stacked and smoothed into a finished shapes, shape. The pot was fired inside a burning pile of branches and sticks, and then design were engraved or carved into its surface. The result pottery ranged in color from light orange to chocolate to dark gray. Today, Caddo artisans continue, artisan, artisans continue uh, the practices of their ancestors by creating beautiful pottery according to traditional methods. The two distinctive living areas one for the spiritual and cultural leaders and the monks for the common villagers. The inner village surrounding the temple mounds house spiritual and uh, uh, political leaders. The remainder of the village consists of smaller cluster homes, shaded working areas, and farming plots. The Caddo people introduced agricultural practices to the region and the fertile prairie of the outer village supported crops of corn, squash, pumpkin, sunflower, and beans. The Caddo also relied on a wide variety of wild foods which helped sustain them for years of crop shortage or failure. Fishing was an important food source along with hunting deer, rabbit, and turkey. The villagers also gathered edible wild plants, including acorns, hickory nuts, grapes, and persimmons. Fruit production and storage. While in the Caddo consumed fresh, oh, see, while the Caddo consumed freshly harvested food, they also prepared and stored them for winter and early spring. Most foods, including corn, fruit, and meat, and dried, stored, and woven baskets or ceramic containers, the Caddo built raised granaries in the village to store their foodstuffs and seeds for the next planting season. The air circulation under and around the granary protected its contents against mold, mildew, and infestations. But that's from the, that's cool from the, that is cool. Okay, now this right here, that's one of the lean tubes. Are you ready? No. Okay, High Temple Mound. This mound was originally at least three times its current length and reached 35 feet tall. It was a spiritual and political center of the village with buildings with worship and gov or government. Architectural evidence suggests that, that periodically the buildings on top of the temple mound were ceremonially destroyed by fire and then rebuilt on a layer of fresh dirt brought to cover the uh, charred remains ceremonial rebirth through fire. In the Caddo account of the creation, the first man and woman brought fire, a tobacco pipe, a drum, and seeds for planting into this world with them. All of these items appear in the ceremonial life of the Caddo. The fire featuring prominently along with the ceremonial burning of structures. At least one village structure may have housed a perpetual fire intended by the X-I-N-E-S-I -E or priest in a 
feature also common to later Caddo groups. And it shows right there the maze. During the 1940 evacuation of this mound, archaeologists unearthed the remains of a very unique structure, which they called the maze, which was approximately 30 feet in diameter, while the extra use of the building remains unknown. Its specialized uh, construction indicates that it was a ceremonial or a ritualistic space. And that, that's in there. Okay. A low platform man, uh, low platform mound. This low platform mound did not have any buildings on it. Based on archaeological evidence, it appears that there were important structures of the ground surface which were burned and then covered over to create a platform mound which was ramped around the sides. <coughs> it, it may have served as a ceremonial function for the community. The mound may have been increased over time, but there were no buildings burned on the platform. Community leadership, the caddy, a hereditary chiefsman made the uh, primary political decisions for the community, supported by his council of elders or uh, Kanahas, or Caddo villagers who looked into a spiritual leader called the XINESI -E for guidance in spiritual and ceremonial matters. This ru these rulers lived near the mounds in the inner village. Poverty Point Mound in northern Louisiana is about 3,000 years old, making it one of the oldest mound sites in the United States. That one right there.
Gallagher and Dorn and Rice and, and the fact that Akon and Alinsky and all the radicals of President Alello. It's up in here. Rock floor up on my. This is cool. This should be a great house up on the. Some 